If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Julie card. Right off the bat, I see Acrobatic. Acrobatic for smaller players is only good for the volleys, okay? I guess if he has like skill moves to get a flick up and then go for... Okay, he doesn't even have the skill moves. Acrobatic, eh? Like I said, for the smaller players, it's mainly for the volleys. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 505, high medium work rates, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, explosive right-footed player. Um, does provide you with the French League 1 links. Uh, play styles in-game. This card has finesse shot, dead ball, whipped pass, flare plus. Fancy passes and shots are performed with even greater accuracy. <laughs> they gave him these ones as the play style pluses, eh? Perform flare animations with context when contextually appropriate. Yeah, we need to just have that on. So if it naturally happens and cool, you know. Uh, performance volleys with significant accuracy and has a, uh, access to unique acrobatic volley animations. Relentless, quick step, and technical. In game attributes. Uh, I don't think I need a marksman for this guy because I've used this card on the um on the rtg account and it was just like the base version and honestly he was cooking for me man he was like initially when i was uh using his loan card he was doing really really well for me so this is a card that um i feel like how many upgrades does he get okay so if he gets two upgrades I, he kind of looks like a marksman chemistry style player for the future you know if you can improve his dribbling base card stats to be higher as well as his shooting but then they increase his pace to be at a specific point that would be nice the other thing is also like a hawk but you're not really going to mess with the the um the physical as much it's mainly going to be in like the shooting and the pace you know what i'm saying passing's in a good area on the card dribbling i i feel like his dribbling in game will be nice because like i said when i use the base card the dribbling was nice on that card so it should be interesting. It's like two squads for this guy. So it's not like too horrible to unlock him. So yeah, we'll go ahead and unlock the card and I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay. Um, as of right now, we got to give him a hunter. Uh, do I feel like he could be decent on a marksman in the future? It depends. It depends how they end up improving him, right? But in order for us to check out base mechanics of the card, I think trying him out in, on a hunter is going to be good enough for us. So yeah, we'll try him out in the right wing position we'll see how he plays hopefully he is a beast all right i'll take that good stuff guys go la singe go la singe Oh, it was a good run, though. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, wow. <laughs> Almost get to that. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if I actually got to that. Been kind of crazy, bro. Oh, nice try. To get a green on that bad boy for sure. Nice. A very, very solid left stick, I will say that. Left stick is very good. And I still don't score that? That's a little bit insane.
Holy, what a challenge, man. Still cooking. Still cooking. Oh. He's got a very, very solid left stick. Like the left stick on him is really, really good. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, oh, it's lucky. I have to actually put tactics on this uh, account because these are so outdated, man. I like they actually they, there's no movement. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put the new ones, man. These are like from the before the patch. I haven't been on this account in a minute. Unlucky. Oh. I'll take that. I will take that. Sounds good. I really gotta update these tactics. They're so old, man. I, I'm telling you, like, the movie Mentos is not it. Ah, oh, no interception there. I'll take that. We will take that. Nice. Well done, Julie. Well done, well done. Nicely done, good finish. Goes into the space well there, nice little goal. I still score that. Very, very lucky, but a white time strike still went into the back of the net. All right, let me go change my tactics now because these things are... <laughs> the 4-3-3 is nice. Like the recent one I reviewed, but you need like the updated meta cards. These are really, really outdated. Oh, right away. The movement's already better. <laughs> Not typical meta goal. Did well on the left stick there, though. Let's open up the space. Ah. Uh, kind of hoping I would do something against the AI, but no chance. Nice lob pass by Ajiuli. That worked out. 
I have yet to utilize, I think, a flare or the acrobatic with him yet. I just, I don't think it's happened just one time yet. That worked out. Very random, but we'll take it. Nice, good shot cancel. Oh, give me the jam. Beauty. Let's go, Shuli. I haven't used a flare or an acrobatic on you one time yet. It's gotta come naturally, right? If you if you do all that stuff. War a play style. <laughs> Oh, look at that, bro. I, I don't even know if it registered the acrobatic there. I actually have no idea if it did. Because that's a volley, right? But I don't know if it I don't know if it went through. Oh, and I mistimed it because I'm trash. Because I'm trash. Acrobatic and I still miss. I don't know. Have to get on a strong foot there, huh? War pass. Oh, the flare just absolutely brilliant. Oh, oh, get the deflection. Oh, why is it switching me there, man? Oh, my goodness. I guess that one doesn't count as a volley. I don't know. I thought I hit it on the green too, but I totally did not hit it on the green. Nicely done. Like I said, his left stick stuff is uh, is actually nice. In the future, if he actually gets a double upgrade, it would be very helpful. The base card stats would be improved on it for sure. Even that L trigger shield touch was actually nice. Too. Oh, Wara Flare. Oh, he's unstoppable, guys. What? That was an acrobatic from from what? <laughs> nice. Very good, very good. Right? Right there was just like a couple of the left stick stuff. And then we just use the uh, the technical to get into space, and he scores a nice little opportunity for us.
Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Zhiyuli card. So, guys, in regards to how this card performs in-game, obviously, as of right now, um, giving him the Hunter Chemist style is going to most is going to be the most ideal situation because it's going to be very important uh, to boost his pace as well as his shooting to be as high as possible. Now, with this card, obviously, like the Alex Scott card, definitely a card that requires a double upgrade, but you kind of tell you can kind of tell what his base mechanics are like on this card, right? So uh, left stick dribbling on him is actually very, very solid. Uh, his five foot five height with a short and normal body type works perfectly fine for him when it comes to the left stick responsiveness. So what's going to be really nice for this card is being able to improve the dribbling stats of the card, hopefully with the double upgrade on the card, right? Now, it's actually formatted in a way where it's a little bit strange because you might still just keep the Hunter on him even in the future, depending on how they improve it because of the way that you actually boost the shooting, right? Uh, because, you know, I was looking at the card earlier and I was like, okay, Marksman Chemistry Style to boost his base card stats and dribbling for certain areas. And then they boost the base card stats for agility, balance, all that kind of stuff. And then their shooting would be put into a, like a 99 position. But then there's moments where it's like, but then I want his pace to be higher, right? So it's like, okay, I got to give him like a Hawk Chemistry Style. And if you give him a Hawk, it's a little bit strangely formatted, a tiny bit, just because of the fact that you're boosting the shot power more than the finishing. And in my opinion, it's actually more important to boost the finishing than the shot power, right? Because you guys know how finishing is in this game. So, I mean, guys, honestly, uh, I think most of the dislikes for this card, it comes from the play styles, and I don't blame them for talking about the play styles because... I mean, the flare passes, honestly, in certain situations can be helpful for him to kind of, like, flick it back and then pass the ball back. Like, there are moments where it can be a helpful pass to go with instead of you doing like a ball roll driven and that kind of stuff. Because sometimes when you're flicking the ball backwards from a pass, they do a backwards then back heel to the guy. And that specific animation is actually very, very helpful to work with, right? Um, so I guess in moments like that, it can be cool to work with, right? Acrobatic, listen, man, <laughs> with acrobatic on the card, he'll be able to hit them nicely if he gets into like very obvious situations. You know what I'm saying? So if you have like a whipped pass plus and he's in the side position, you whip and across him and you know it's going right to his foot, he's going to score those sort of opportunities because he's got the acrobatic plus. But I don't know, sometimes I do like the flick up animation just to see if it forces the acrobatic animation out of the card um, to force the, the volleys. And there's moments where it's like, I don't even know if it was actually like coming off or not, right? But um, I still think for 100K, 100K, the card's pretty decent. Obviously, if he does get the double upgrade, uh, it'll still be a pretty cool card to use, especially if you require a sided position player that provides you those French and League One links. But do I agree with the people on the playstyle pluses? Yeah, I think they definitely could have done a better job with that. But the card is still pretty solid to use in game, right? Very good left stick. Um, you know, he's got a few player traits to work with that are pretty noticeable and to work with in game, right? He, he times his like his left stick responsiveness. I knew was good because of the Road to Glory account when I had his base card, right? But being able to time like left stick in certain situations, timing the L1 to stop the ball and play and then use a left stick right afterwards, like stuff like that's obviously going to be very, very helpful to work with for the most part. So I still think the card's still pretty good. They definitely could have given him better play style pluses, but hey, what are you going to do, right? Um, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'm going to catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.